Can you recognize the differences? Which do you think is male pelvis? The pelvis is one of the most useful skeletal elements for differentiating between males and females. Like the skull, the pelvis is highly useful for determining a skeleton's biological sex. The male and female pelvis differ in several anatomical features, primarily due to their reproductive functions. Let's take a look at an illustration of a female pelvis on the left and male pelvis on the right to understand some of key differences. The main differences between the two are as follows. Although the female pelvis is wider than the typical male pelvis, these bones are thinner and lighter than the denser, rougher bones of the male pelvis. The female pelvis is wider and more shallow, whereas the male pelvis is deeper and narrower. There is a greater distance between the anterior superior iliac spines of the female pelvis when compared to the male pelvis. Female pelvis has evolved to its maximum width for childbirth. This result in the female inlet being large and oval in shape, while the men inlet is more heart-shaped. The acetabula are wider apart and face more medially in females than in males. The male pelvis has been optimized for bipedal locomotion. Because the male pelvis is narrower and taller, the obturator foramina have a rounded look for male. In contrast, the obturator foramina in females have more of an oval shape, similar to an egg on its side. Pubic arch is typically going to be much wider in women than in men. You can remember this by thinking that when a woman gives birth to a child, female will have to spread her legs wide to do so. The greater sciatic notch is wider in females. The male sacrum is longer, narrower, and straighter relative to the female sacrum. The coccyx bone of the male curves more toward the front of the body in comparison to the female's coccyx. Male pelvis is taller due to owing a higher iliac crest and narrower. The female pelvic outlet is larger and more oval shaped than the male pelvic outlet, which is smaller. This allows for easier passage of the baby during childbirth for female. The distance between the ischium bones is small in males. This causes the sides of the male pelvis to converge from the inlet to the outlet, whereas the sides of the female's pelvis are wider apart. We shared several diagnostic criteria for differentiating a male from a female pelvis. If you have any question, you can leave the comment. Thank you.